Hey guys, Chris here for Toolman's Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Tech Tips, I will show you two simple yet very useful tricks when you're changing bass strings. In this series, I want to show you how to fix the most common issues and how to set up your guitars and basses without using too many special tools. We showed you how to change bass strings in episode number 13. In case you missed it, you'll find the link in the description box. This time I want to dig a little deeper and show you two very useful pro tips when changing bass strings. In case you enjoy Guitar Tech Tips, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. First is to make sure that the strings are not twisted. What do I mean by twisted? As you wind the string on the tuner, you kind of twist it more and more, which causes an unnecessary pressure, the so-called hoop stress, which can influence the string's intonation and vibration. Right before the string is fully under tension, simply pull the ball end back at the bridge and let it turn and twist if it has to, to find its most relaxed position. Then you can tune up the string. And the second tip is something I shortly mentioned in our original bass string change video, but actually it's really important and I feel like it wasn't enough in focus. You should push down a new string right at the bridge saddle and at the knot after you put it on and tuned it. That's important for two reasons. The intonation and the string action are way better this way because you help the string to be completely straight instead of having little humps at both ends. And now it's time for a test ride. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions left. I'd also love to know what you want to see in this series. Don't be afraid of setting up and fixing your guitars yourself. Time to become your own bass deck. I think I'm really good at bass. Click -o, click -o. Fingernail, fingernail. Ah! <laughs>